Yes, you read that right. Kalkwasser should not be used to increase your pH. And that is not clickbait, it is actually true. Now you might think that's a bit of a strange thing for me to say, given I've made a whole playlist of seven videos extolling the virtues of Kalkwasser with regards to increasing your pH. Let me explain. To understand what I mean, we need to first break down what Kalkwasser is and how it works in simple terms. Kalkwasser is just the German word for lime water, and the actual chemical behind Kalkwasser is called calcium hydroxide. When you dose calcium hydroxide to your tank, the calcium of course increases your calcium levels, and the hydroxide increases your alkalinity, which it does by reacting with carbon dioxide in your water to create carbonate and bicarbonate aka alkalinity, and it's that carbon dioxide conversion that increases your pH. As you'll know from any documentary on global warming and coral reefs, carbon dioxide makes salt water more acidic, which decreases the water's pH level. So because Kalkwasser removes carbon dioxide from your water, it will increase your pH level, which is good for corals. So if Kalkwasser does increase your pH, why am I saying Kalkwasser isn't for pH? Well, the one question I get asked most often is, how do I use Kalkwasser to increase my pH without increasing my alkalinity? Which is a bit like asking, how do I drink more alcohol without getting more drunk? You can't. And with alkalinity, as with alcohol, having too much in your system is a bad thing. If you're dosing Kalkwasser with the sole intention of increasing your pH without any thought to what it will do to your calcium and alkalinity, you're doing it wrong and you will more likely do harm to your tank, not good. And if you focus solely on increasing pH instead of maintaining stable alkalinity, you're getting your priorities wrong, which I'll demonstrate at the end of the video, so do make sure you watch all the way to the end. For decades now, people have kept stunning reef tanks without giving any direct thought to pH. And in fact, the one parameter most experienced reefers want to keep stable above any other is alkalinity and not pH. So by dosing Kalkwasser just for pH, you're putting the cart before the horse and you're ignoring the one parameter that people have spent decades focusing on with outstanding results. And I don't think it's controversial to say that you're more likely to have success if you follow methods that have been used for decades with great success than if you follow the latest fad. However, I'm not actually saying that you shouldn't use Kalkwasa or that pH is just a fad. Dosing Kalkwasa appropriately will improve most reef tanks over a long enough period of time, but only if you use it for its intended purpose of maintaining stable levels of calcium and alkalinity, while seeing any bump in pH as nothing more than a side benefit, albeit a very nice side benefit. When you only have a few corals in your tank, you probably won't need to dose much Kalkwasser at all to maintain your calcium and alkalinity, which means the Kalkwasser you dose won't increase your pH that much at first. However, while you might be tempted to simply dose enough Kalkwasser to increase your pH, doing so without watching your alkalinity will just cause any corals you have to suffer. Now, if you still really, really want to increase your pH in those circumstances, you're far better off using something like a CO2 scrubber that will increase your pH without affecting your water chemistry. But if you're maintaining proper water parameters, your tank will be just fine without a perfect pH level, and pH is not the magic ingredient that makes all the difference between sad and happy corals. It's just one part of the recipe. And if you made a cake by using all sugar and no flour, it'd taste disgusting. But as you add more stony corals over the period of a few months, you'll need to steadily increase the amount of Kalkwasser you dose to keep up with your tank's calcium and alkalinity uptake. And increasing your Kalkwasser dosing this way will increase your pH without that being at the expense of the overall recipe. So if you want to dose Kalkwasser, you absolutely should do so, as long as you do it properly, i.e. to maintain stable levels of calcium and alkalinity, with the pH boost simply being the icing on the cake, rather than trying to make the entire cake out of icing. Now I said that at the end of the video I'd demonstrate that focusing on pH instead of alkalinity is not the correct order of priorities, but in fact I've actually been demonstrating that throughout the entire video, and every clip I've used up to now was taken before I started dosing Kalkwasser, when my pH ranged from about 7.8 to 8.1, which some people will tell you is too low to have success, and yet my corals grew just fine and were nice and healthy. 
And while I have noticed an improvement in the growth and coloration of my corals since I started dosing Kalkwasser, the point of this video is to underline that you can still have a successful reef tank without obsessing about pH, and the pre calquasser clips show that the key to success is getting all the ingredients right, not just the one that tastes the sweetest. Now the purpose of this video is not to put you off using Kalkwasser, it's to make sure you use it in the right way. So if there's anything you want to know, or if I haven't explained anything properly, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure I get back to you. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next time. And until then, happy reefing.